Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we are putting together this super cute Halloween cake topper. Um, I figured we all need a little something extra since we can't really do our traditional trick-or-treating and all that fun stuff with the kids. So, um, I wanted to add light. So you can see I did a full background. I welded everything that I knew was gonna be in this cake topper. And I wanted to incorporate lights because I've been really big on trying to use lights in a, um, it, <laughs> I, I laugh at saying in a natural way, but what I'm looking for are things that purposely would have lights. Like I thought it would be really cool to have lights in this haunted house, right? And the cool thing about these lights, I got them on Amazon. So if you want to buy them, it's on my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. What is cool is it has this little piece of paper in it. When you pull it out, the lights turn on. And so um, they don't always have to be on because when you want it off, you just stick the little piece of paper back in, right? And so the lights are off. Um, so the way I always wanna put these in is to make sure that from the back of this, so this is the back layer, I wanna put it in so that the piece of paper portion is sticking out in the back so that you can easily access and take it on and or pull it in and out, right? Um, the other thing about the lights that I've noticed is, um, and I use the volume paper, so again, this is also on my Amazon shop. I like using this because it gives you that, um, you know, it's like tracing paper from back in the day when we were in school. Um, you can also, I've used just regular copy paper to do this and the light will shine through. But what I've noticed with these lights is I'm gonna pull this out. I don't like this, the tip of the light to be right where the opening is because you can kind of see where the light is. So what I like to do is kind of put the light to the side so you can kind of see it or close to the close to a window, but just not at the window. Or really just that the tip is not at the window because th that tip is, you can actually then see the light, which I don't, I feel like it's a strobe light then. So anyway, little things that I wanted to point out. Um, now, how do we put, Put it in because I don't want it at the window then and I forgot to do this in the design I think the next time because I was in such a rush to cut this and and um, just design it really quickly I forgot about my lights I knew I was gonna use lights but I forgot to um, to insert them so what I would have done in design space which I'm actually gonna show you because I haven't created the design space I always like to um, create the stuff in design space cut it out and then my first video is actually assembling whatever and then once I have it assembled then I go and I recreate it in design space that way I can kind of show you the finished product and why we're designing it a certain way so if you follow um, but I always release the design space first so that you can create it and then put it together what I will do is when I go do this I'm actually going to because I'll know where the windows are I will then cut out little circles in the design so that we know where the lights will be. So you can kind of see where the, it's a little bit hard to see because there's the glitter. So, um, sorry, I'm kind of trying to look to see what you can see. Um, I would probably do like a little hole right here. So I'm just gonna take my hole puncher Okay, so let's see what's right there. Actually, so this already has a little hole in it from the design of the of something. I'm not sure why it has a hole there, but I'm gonna punch it through. So I'm using a hole puncher because we didn't design it in design space. So what will happen is, see this light will go in right here and I'm going to use um, the hot glue gun right here to. Um, glue the light in and from the back it's gonna look like this so that way the piece of paper is sticking out do you see all right so that's one light and I determined that I wanted about I pulled out four lights total um, maybe one right here in between all the all the windows so you can kind of see yeah, right there. 
So I'm going to put my finger right there. And this, you know, this is not a big deal if you end up getting it where the windows are because it's just personal preference. I don't like, I don't want the lights to be right there, but it's not a big deal if it ends up being there because if you see my light here, I can put it like this as well. And actually, that's not such a bad design, but I'll put it in like this. Yeah, I think I like that. So the lights are actually gonna be sitting on this piece of paper like this. We're gonna glue it on. That way it's gonna give a little bit of height to the house. So I like that idea a lot actually. Okay, so then let's see, where else are we gonna want it? We're gonna want it right, okay, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, so that's two, so we'll have that that oops and we're gonna have this right here so let's do one more light oh my gosh <laughs> all right I'm gonna take that out let's do one more light maybe right here yeah right underneath this one okay All right, so we're done with that. So let's um, let's plug in our glue gun, which I can't believe I don't have out. We want our glue gun going. This is the Lynn Lily glue gun, which I love. And Shore Bonder makes this. So it, if you like the color and it's sold out, then too bad, so sad, too bad, so sad, so sad, too bad. <laughs> Um, it also comes in a black, which I also bought because in case this one ever dies out on me, I have a replacement. I like it because it has this little glue drip catcher and then it's also cordless. So I love it. All right, so let's plug this in. And we're going to, because the only extra feature on this cake topper are the lights, um, I want to make sure that it has the depth. So everything's gonna be layered and sitting on top of each other. The lights are gonna help this stick up a little bit. And the other cool thing is, so I'm gonna to try to see, so I'm gonna to try to do it at an angle. So do you see how some of the um, some of the windows, it didn't cut all the way through. Oh, from the back, it'll be easier to see. So like that right there, I purposely didn't pop out the rest of it because it kind of looks like the windows are broken. So I like that look, but they're actually, it just didn't pop out by itself when I pulled it off my mat. So that's, the, that's what happened. Now, um, I don't know if the lights, the lights are pretty um, lightweight, but I don't know if it's going to hold up with this thin paper. So we may, in the end, you might want to cut a duplicate of this background. We'll see how it holds up, but um, that's the only thing. Okay, so while, oh, it would help if I turned on the glue gun. Okay, um, let's put everything else together though. So this volume paper, I would just, um, I would turn this around and put my tape wherever the windows are not, okay? So I would take this tape runner And this will actually keep those windows in, which I love. Love that idea. Now I did do glitter cardstock on this because I just felt like this one didn't have a lot of my normal extraness on cake toppers where it's a shaker and it has a swivel, all that stuff. So, and I did use glitter cardstock, so it's very sturdy, do you see? So, all right, so let's put this little guy on. And this is just an image from Design Space. That was the other thing. Um, I knew because I did print and cut for these and I just basically went on Google and got these images. Like I did a screenshot on my phone and then cleaned it up. So 
I knew it, it was going to have this little outline and so I didn't want to add any more to it and I, I wanted it big enough so that it stood out so I didn't want to do an offset and then I couldn't do an offset on this because it was a design space image so I couldn't take it out of design space and put it into Inkscape. So a lot of things that I normally would do on my cake topper I wasn't able to do on this. So that's why I did this in glitter cardstock because I felt like it was just missing a little oomph to everything. Um, all right, so this door goes on top of here and it's gonna be tough because it's so thin that I'm just going to tape it onto here, okay? So I'm just gonna take this and you can barely even tell where it should go and which way is the front. So I'm not too worried about this. I just wanted some color. I know Halloween colors are, you know, you usually think of when you see it, it makes you think of Halloween as like purple, um, a little bit of like the fluorescent green and orange. So I tried to incorporate that by doing the letters boo like that. So that's where that is going to come in. And then I have another layer of the fence to put down. And this one, I just kept it the same boring black because I didn't want to have it um, compete with the house. So I've sort of just, you know, I did as much as I could. And actually, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, it's gonna have to sit like this. Okay, just talking to myself here. I also have bats, um, which I think is so cute. Okay. So let's kind of piece this together. So I'm going to put everything on the back because we're going to, I'm trying to figure out which way is up. Um, all right, okay. I'm gonna put this on the back because we're gonna put glue dots on them so that it will stand out. So these are all backwards already, okay? Let's see, if, okay, good. The glue gun is ready to go, so I'm gonna put we're gonna let these glue dots dry, okay? Because they're going to, when they dry, they're gonna have these little dots on them and it's gonna give us that space that we need to create to give it dimension. And then once it dries and then we put glue on it, then we'll use the glue at that point to make it stick to everything, okay? But right now, these, we want them to dry to give us that space. You can create this space as well with <clears throat> foam stickers, because I think that's what most scrapbookers use. Um, I don't like using foam stickers only because sometimes I feel like the pieces we're dealing with, they're so small that using the foam tape or the foam stickers, um, it will show through, it will peek out a little bit. So that's why I don't like using it. So let me piece this together so I know where everything goes. Okay, so I'm gonna flip these over as well. Oh, geez. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which way it is and it keeps popping over for me. Okay. <clears throat> All right, there we go. And this is already, okay. So let's create our little glue dots here. And I'm, it's really risky to do the glue dots in the middle because it's, you might get the little strings and then I'll pick up and drag everything. Speaking from personal experience here. <laughs> All right. So in general, um, my back layer is usually, I'm just thinking of all my other cake toppers that I typically do. It's usually, oh see, this is what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want to burn my fingers either. Okay, hold on. There we 
you go. Um, my back layer is usually some sort of shimmer paper or glitter paper so that it's really sturdy. On this one, it wasn't because normally I also have an offset. So that's why I also like to use the more expensive paper because it has a, it actually shows, right? But this one is completely a back layer. So I didn't really think about it. Um, I was like, well, it's not showing. I was just doing regular 65 pound paper cardstock. So that's why I was saying we may want to create one more, um, oh my God, I've got glue everywhere. One more layer to make it sturdy. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got that going. Let's do our moon. Our moon is also gonna have some depth. Everything's gonna have depth here, okay? All right, now with our little characters, I always um, print them out on copy paper so you can see it's really thin. Um, I don't mind it, but whenever I do this, then I also cut out 65 pound um, paper so that <clears throat> it becomes sturdier, okay? So with all of these, what you wanna do is, I'm gonna put down a layer of the tape, um, you know, of the glue tape so that it will stick. Now in this case, I know what I'm gonna wanna do is because it has, let me see, where am I? I'm going to want to get those whiskers because I don't want any of these ends to be sticking up. All right, so now this little girl is super sturdy. Um, and let's also, let's see, so sh they're gonna be sitting kind of up. So let's create our glue dots. I'm not really sure where on the fence, so I'm just putting a couple glue dots down because I'm not sure um, exactly where we're gonna put all these characters. All right, so let's do the next one. Um, I, I, <clears throat> I only have space for four, but I cut out five. So my least favorite was Batgirl. So let's do this little, this little dude. He's so cute. It's Beetlejuice. I thought it was the Joker, but it's actually Beetlejuice. It's nonetheless, still super, super cute. All right, so let's get this. It's so cute, right? Okay, and I get a lot of questions on my printer, and you can see how I didn't put it on completely um, perfectly because you can see the white outline. So that's why I usually like to do my um, this back in black because I feel like when people see that outline in black, it's not distracting. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Um, so that's why I do what I do. All right, so let's flip this over and get this down. All right, just a few more. We have Snow White and we have Mulan, which I think is so cute. All right, here we go. Um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be running out of that soon. Create the glue dots. And last character is Snow White. Okay. And this one doesn't have any crazy edges and I didn't know how much tape I was gonna have left, <laughs> to be honest. All right, here we go.
All right, so let's start creating this thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. All right, let's look at this and see what we should put down first. Um, I honestly don't know what to put down first. Let's do the moon first. Um, and also then, I forgot to do the bats. So let's put our little glue dots on the bats so that they just don't lay flat on the moon, even though they're teeny tiny. Okay, so our moon is, it's a sh uh, foil paper, and I love this foil paper, it's so pretty. Now just be careful though, when you get glue, glue drippings on this one, or like the little webbing, you don't want to rub it off, because it will cause a mark in the shimmer paper, in the foil paper. So kind of lift it up and literally get rid of the, the webbing. All right, I got it all off. <clears throat> so let's do this. Now when you put this down, hold it in place so that it dries parallel to the paper so that the whole thing is balanced. And what I mean by that is, so it'll dry pretty quickly, so I'm just gonna hold it a little bit longer. What you don't want is, see how it's parallel? You don't want it kinda like this. If it dries like this, it's gonna stay like this with like one end sticking up and one end facing down. You want it so that the whole thing dries and the whole thing is kind of flat, but lifted. <laughs> All right, so we have that down. Um, we have almost everything down. Well, let's do the letters next. So the letters, it's gonna be the purple down. So this will... And same thing with the letters when you put it down. Oh, and I did this wrong. Oh my goodness, okay. Hold on. We can fix that. I had it in, uh, I had it reversed, but since we're gonna have a top to it, oh my, hold on, okay. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be like this, so I'm gonna flip it over and do it on this side. All right, here we go. And it's, it's okay, because no one's gonna know, <laughs> except for you and I. Um, and I just did it flat because this is gonna have this as well as the glue dots from the green. So that's why this one's gonna lay flat and it's, I mean, it's just not a big deal, don't worry. All right, so let's put on the green. So the green's gonna sit like this. So let's put this on, put a little bit of glue. And it may be off-centered because we wanna cover the glue on the purple. So remember, hold this down so that it dries, and it'll dry really quickly, like within a few seconds. There we go. All right, and then let's do, um, where is the other, oh yeah, it's this one. And this is gonna go here. See, that's fine. No one's gonna see the glue dots, so we're all good. That one was so balanced that I didn't need to make sure that it dries. Okay, let's put down the rest of our O's. All right, this one is good. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but my purple paper Oh, you can see it actually. So let me lift it up a little bit higher. Um, you can see where the glue is hitting on this. 
because it turned it kind of like a light, lighter purple. So you can see where the glue dots are, where the glue gun hit it. So with 65 pound paper cardstock, <clears throat> you may discolor the paper. So that's why I do, when I'm using um, the glue gun, I really try to be careful of where I'm putting it um, and to make sure it's hidden. And that's another reason why I like using glitter cardstock is for, for the most part, um, you can't see it at all. But in this case, it just gives it like that scary look anyway, so it's okay because it's Halloween. But if you were dealing with like the princesses, um, like the Disney princesses, I know, you know, it, it would be really distracting. So just something to consider and just know that um, that's why a lot of times I use double-sided tape. Let's get this one down. Now I hope you guys went to Michael's this past week and I know um, my videos get released like a week later, um, but Michael's had an awesome sale on their paper pads. The ones that are normally $20 for the 12 by 12 pads were $5. And then yesterday it had an extra 20% off everything in my basket so of course, I had to go back and buy more paper. <laughs> um, and so I stocked up, which is partially why I have this awesome lime green paper with the purple to go for this Halloween. And um, they also had their eight and a half by 11 paper on sale. So normally I think that pad is um, $5 and it was on sale for four for $9.99 and then also again with that extra 20% off. Okay, so I love how it just looks crooked. Crooked and creepy, right? Okay, let's put down our lights, okay? So I am going to I want to, give me just one second, I'm going to go grab something for it to stick up. Sorry, I'll be right there. <laughs> okay, I love using these um, drink containers from McDonald's because it gives me a chance to use it for painting and all that stuff. Okay. So what I want to do is basically where we have these holes, I want to put, I'm going to glue it down. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to put glue all around it and then put my light down. And then I'm just gonna glue down the lights a little bit more, just the edges, okay. I probably should drop the lights in and then glue it because I don't want the paper to get glued at all. Okay, so I'm going to put that one in. Okay. All right. And then one more light to go in right here. And then I'm just going to glue around it. Okay, 
We'll let all of that dry. Then let's put on our bats. So I did three bats. Not really sure how I'm gonna put that down. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And this one you do want to make sure you hold it down so it dries otherwise you know half the <laughs> the wing could be could be off centered okay and I'm sort of keeping it on the top half of this because don't forget the house is going to come down and cover it a little bit All right, so that's down. Let's put down our house. So our house is gonna be sitting on top of, on top of the lights. So you see how it just, now it's balanced. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue all over the lights, which, how is that gonna work? Um. I think it'll be okay because it's clear glue, right? We'll see. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna just put glue down. Let's see how this works. Let's see if I ruin the lights at all. It's better for me to experiment, right? Then I can tell you guys. All right, so it's sticking pretty well. It's pretty balanced. All right, so we've got that down. Now this isn't going to be very balanced, the fence that is, but I think it's okay. It could be off-centered because it's, I mean, that's the cool thing about this haunted Halloween thing is <clears throat> you have your fence in all different directions and it could be a little bit off-centered as well. I'm not too worried about that because also what's going to happen is we're going to have our characters sitting on top. So I think in this case, I'm probably going to do... I think it will help if it has two sticks, two cake, um, two dowels, just to make it really sturdy. Let's see if this is dried. Let's pull this off. Okay, so you can kind of see what it looks like in between. Let's see how the lights work, okay? Okay, so that was easy to pull out and I think Putting back in will be just as easy. Yay! Um, I feel like I need to cover the light a little bit. Let me turn off the light so we can see what this looks like. Oh, <laughs> there. Yeah, this looks good, okay. So let me turn that on the light. All right. So all that looks good. I'm so happy that this works. And then what we can do is, I'm trying to think where I would put the dowels, probably here. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we need this. Okay, so I think with this, I'm going to put some glue dots on the actual fence so that there's a connection point that's not going to be so flat. And we're almost done. Just the last few pieces. Um, And see these right here that we're doing, they're so 
tiny. I feel like if I had had the foam stickers, you would see the white stickers kind of coming out. Um, let me see here. This one goes. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat today. Um, all right, so this is not going to be flat or parallel because our house is sitting on top of lights. There's no way that we can duplicate that with this. But what we could do is, I wonder, and it would be really easy to add another light if we wanted to because I think the next light you can kind of add it sticking out and the paper could be on the side. So it's totally up to you if you want to add more lights. But let's glue down this thing. So let's now hit the our glue dots with a little bit more glue. And I'm gonna stop there and do half of it at a time because we're not putting down a lot of glue so I don't want our glue to dry. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we have that down, you want to save these, okay, because these are going to turn off the lights for you. Let's see where we want to put these characters. I don't really have a reason for why I'm putting these where I'm putting them. <laughs> I think I want this. Okay. And you can kind of stagger them a little bit, or this one can be a little bit higher because it's not covering too much right here. You can even put, actually, you could put one of them up there. I wonder if we should put Batman up there. That would kind of, oh, that'd be cute. Okay, so let's get this one down. And this just might give it a little bit more character. <laughs> All right, cute. Oh, I did a really bad job with that. Okay, so since we're going to put this one around here, I think that would look really good. Let me move this down because it's near the bats of everything else. That will cover our dowels too because we can have two dowels coming down like this. And I definitely, I think I recommend having maybe one more layer but let's put this in so you can barely see that orange door unfortunately you can do something like that oh but I kind of want the scissors sticking out okay maybe like that okay so I think we know where we're putting everything let's do it I'm running out of all my supplies. My glue gun is really, really low. <clears throat> See if I have enough. Okay. And then this one. This one could actually, I'm going to use my tape runner. Could have probably done glue dots 
Hold on. Here we go. Nope. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm out of everything. Look at of it all. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. Okay, let's get this little girl in. <clears throat> all right, we've got it. Yay. So here's our little cake topper. I'm going to hold it like this. It's actually pretty steady because you can see <clears throat> it's not collapsing on us. And here's the back. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice, but the slits are sticking out. So watch I can I'm just putting the paper back in So that one's done Lights are off Yay! <clears throat> and then I'll show you one more time how easy it is. <clears throat> it's very stable, so you see I wasn't very careful with that. <clears throat> and there you have it. Oh, I picked up some glue. Okay. And then with the dowel in, you could maybe even get away with... No, I would do two dowels. I would do one here and one here just to give it stability. All right, I'm losing my voice, so I'm gonna go. All right, thanks guys. If you have any comments or questions, please post them. And then if you have a special request, I'm gonna start asking the special request come post it in the comments so that I know to look for it. But if you email me, it's Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. That way the details, I won't lose the details and I'll, um, I can find it in my comments, a little. I mean, in my email a little bit easier than I can to sift through the comments of the different videos. I mean, once I read all of them, but once I mark them that I've read it, then I don't know where to go look for it anymore. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Oh, my goodness. I will see you later. Bye.